Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am Mayank Agarwal and we are trying to learn Python from our Hello Python series. So we have been learning about list from the past few videos and now we are going to cover one last topic in list which is list comprehension. So let's get started. Okay everyone, so now let us begin with list comprehension. Now before I begin, uh, let me just for give you a problem. So let's say if I have to create a list, okay, where first 10 numbers are there. Okay, so again, uh, what you're going to do is uh, you can actually either create it like this. Then again, I think you understand that uh, for 10, it is pretty doable. Okay. So I can maybe create it like this, but now what will be the, you? what will I do if I have to basically create uh, say list for 50 numbers. Okay. So top 50 numbers, uh, then that's again a problem. Okay. So maybe, but what I can do is because I know that list time mutable and everything for I in range, or let me make it number so that it is a lot more readable. Okay. Let's say 0 to 50 or if I let's say one from 1, 1 to 51, then I can just do L2 dot append. Okay. Now, and once I do it, then I will be able to see my list. So you can see that uh, I have to actually write three codes, three line of codes to just make a simple list, right? To just make a simple list. Now, let's say tomorrow, if I have to uh, write some logic or some code to make list like this, which of course you will be making a lot, right? So it's going to be a lot of problem, right? So uh, there are two ways, actually two reasons uh, majorly. The first one is uh, to avoid this big offer syntax. The second thing is that uh, we want actually some way through which it is a little faster because here we are using lots of things. We are uh, creating a range object, then we are creating this loop. So that is where the overall concept of list comprehension takes place. Okay, so it is a, I would say easy and small way of making your list. So let us go and see that once. So list comprehension, okay, are concise and powerful feature to create list. They are readable and often faster when compared to traditional way. So uh, readable, we are going to see uh, the faster reason is because see Python is actually written on top of C++. Now uh, in list comprehension, when we, which we are going to learn now, list comprehension actually uses your uh, C++ in the backend. Okay. So normally it is a little bit more faster than this traditional way. And that is the reason we, uh, you will see at lots of places that the list like these, they are created using uh, your, I would say list comprehension concept. Okay. So now let us see some, uh, I would say way through which you can do. So syntax is like this element for element in an iterable. Okay. So just focus on the first syntax as of now, let me just go back and show you the same. So syntax is something like this, right? Element for element in, uh, let's say like this. So range, uh, let me take the same example only. Let's say one, two, 51. Okay. So this is, a, I, we know that this is one of the iterable, right? So that is what it is trying to say that you can run like this on an iterable. This again becomes the same, I would say, uh, basically variable the way we have in for loop. Okay. So let me just showcase this to you. Yeah. So this again is the same variable. Pay attention, everyone. So let's say if we have one second, let me just get rid of that sidebar as well. Yeah. Cool. So pay attention. Now let's say if we have this, uh, element or let's say if because of this, we have a number. So number for number in whatever I table you want. So even I can actually provide a list here, uh, provide a tuple, provide a string here, all these things I can provide and I can directly get a string out of this. Okay. So let us just test this out once and let me show you lots of examples. So for example, let's say if I want to make L3, right. And then I want to show you L3. See, it is getting created. Let me remove this, right. It is getting created. So in a similar way, in a similar way, uh, let's say if I want to make L4, so for example, let's say CH for CH in same Mayank like this, right? Now uh, it's an iterable, right? We know that um, strings are an iterable. We can pick up characters one by one. Okay. So first M is going to get picked up then A. So they are going to get added into your list. They are going to get added into your list and we can uh, see the same. So L4 is going to be Mayank like this, right? So this is the way we create our, I would say list through list comprehension. Of course, this method is a lot, I would say straightforward, easy, right? And uh, as I've told you, this is the normally faster as well. Okay. So now let us see uh, the few other uh, cases. So element for element in our table, and we can apply this if condition as well. Okay. So we can write our if condition for uh, if uh, like, let's say we want to have something. So for example, let us, let me show you the same. Let's say L5 is equals to CH for CH in Mayank. Okay. If, uh, let's say CH not in A E I O U. So this time I'm saying that if CH is not part of these vowels, okay, then only uh, add that to my L5. And now you will see that A and A are not added because they are part of that. Okay. So in a similar way, in a similar way, what we can do is L6 is equals to 
ओके नंबर फॉर नंबर इन रेंज से जीरो टू फिफ्टी ओके इफ नंबर परसेंटेज टू इक्वल इक्वल टू जीरो सो हेयर आई एम सींग आई जस्ट वॉन्ट ऑल द इवेंट नंबर राइट सो दैट इज वॉट दिस पर्टिकुलर कोड मीन्स एंड यू आर गोन गेट ऑल द इवेंट नंबर लाइक दिस सो आई होप यू कैन एप्रिशिएट एंड सी दैट हाउ एक्जैक्टली हाउ फास्ट इट इज फास्ट मे बी लाइक ऑफकोर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ आई वुड से सिंटैक्स राइट एंड एज आई टोल यू बैक एंड बैक एंड ऑल्सो इट इज अ लिटिल बिट फास्टर कम्पेयर टू द ट्रेडिशनल मेथड नाउ लेट एस सी सम मोर आई वुड से सिंटैक्स सो सी even if x percentage 2 is equal to 0 else so if you have to apply both else and odd so what we do is see so let me make l7 so this is going to be first i write let's say num okay if num percentage 2 okay equal equal 0 else num into 2 so i am just specifying that hey i want the number as it is if my uh, number is even else i want the number as i would say multiplied by 2 for number in range 1 to 10 right so it's actually going to run a loop it's actually going to run a loop normally uh, from 1 to 10 uh, 1 to 9 basically for every even number it's going to add it as it is because that is what i'm saying hey i want it to be number only if my number is percentage 2 is equal to 0 else i want the it multiplied by 2 and you can see the same so let me show you l7 yeah so 2 uh, then i think it was uh, first started from 1 right So one into two got added, then two is added. So let me make it actually something like num into two or num plus hundred. That would be better, right? Pay attention now. See, so hundred. Okay, uh, it was one. So okay, I multiplied it. My bad. Yeah, cool. So it was one, uh, not even. So it, it got added one zero one. Uh, then three one zero three. Number is added. Two is added. So in a similar way, what we can do is L eight. Is equals to say uh, number uh, sorry ch if ch in uh, so let me write not in a i a e i o u else okay else I can maybe have a vowel like something like this is added for ch in say mayank okay now again if I see this uh, m A was a vowel, so vowel I've added here. So this is how you basically create your, I would say, uh, list using st uh, list comprehension. It's again a smaller and a faster way to create this. Nothing uh, major, but yeah, we are going to create list like this at a lot of places, majorly in lots of questions and whenever we are trying to even I would say generate a list randomly or something. So this syntax overall is a lot useful. Okay, and this syntax uh, is basically going to kind of I would say be similar when we create a tuple or dictionary as well. So that is why it is important to know. Okay, uh, there is just one more thing, one more thing which you will have to understand. See, uh, if you remember, if you remember, like we have this nested list. Okay, L NL one. What I can have is, I can have list like this, right? One, two, then three, four. Okay, so something like this I can create. Now it's a nested list. It has a list. Okay, list inside a list, right? So I can actually create list like these as well. I can create list like these as well. So nested list comprehension also works in a similar way. uh let me just explain you that so that it is a lot clear okay so pay attention and i hope this all the above thing is clear because that is very important to get cleared if you want to uh, learn about the nested list creation using uh, list comprehension okay so if you it is not take a pause go back revise try to create some at your end as well and then come back and see that how exactly we are going to create it okay great so i hope you have done the same now pay attention everyone so this overall okay let's say i'm just going to take a very easy thing number 4 Number in range one two five. So this is gonna give me a list like this one two three four. Okay. Now what I can do, uh, what I can effectively do is this number. Okay, this is one two three four. I can actually apply a list outside this as well, right? So this overall. Okay. So let's say i for i in. Okay, and I can maybe apply it like this. Uh, one second, let me just uh, correct it quickly. So number for num in range one to five. Okay, now to have this, uh, I would say overall as a list, this number, right? So what I can do is uh, one second. Let me just remove this. We have to work on this number here. Okay, so I will be getting my number here, right? I will be getting my number here. I know that this number was getting added before, right? So number was one, then two, then three, then four. So I can add another of my loop here. Okay, I can add another of I would say list comprehension here, which can work on number. So let's say. Uh, uh let me take i okay into 2 for i in range number 
so i get my number i get my number and then using that number i am running another basically list comprehension here okay and that is basically creating a list for you inside so let us see this let us see the result once and this is the result now let me explain you how this result uh, actually come into picture okay so pay attention everyone uh, let me uh, just explain you here only so see what happened actually first i was getting number okay which was having the values from 1 2 3 and 4 now what i did was i wrote, wrote another of these loops on number so this is basically adding this is the element which will get added into my list right so the first element which gonna get added that is gonna be i into 2 for i in range number right so range number number is 1 so i know it's just gonna give me 0 okay so 0 into 2 is 0 so this see this is just gonna be 0 only next time when my number is gonna be 2 this is gonna be 0 and 1 so let me write it here okay so range of i would say number it's going to be 0 then it's going to be 0 1 then it's going to be 0 1 2 and then it's going to be 0 1 2 and 3 and i'm adding i'm adding as a list this multiplied by 2 so it's going to be 0 then 0 2 then 0 2 4 and then 0 2 4 6 and this is what you are seeing the result here right so this is what exactly you are seeing the result here let me just remove and make this a little bit clear okay so this is exactly how we can create nested list as well using uh, this particular thing i can actually what i can do is what i can actually also do is let me just show you that so for example okay uh, let uh, let us do like this so let's say uh, ch for ch in say mayank okay now instead of adding the ch okay that is where the magic is happening right i can maybe do it something like this now pay attention what i'm going to do so now what i can do is uh, let's say uh, let me just have 1 2 okay so ch2 for ch2 in 1 and 2 okay this time pay attention what's going to happen so this loop's going to run six times because mayank has six characters okay and this basically going to create a list which is uh, so let me first run this separately let me first run this separately okay see this is 1 and 2 now this same thing will get added six times the same thing will get added six times in my list right so the reason i'm taking it like this so that you understand it properly now i am not use this ch anywhere but this is basically now uh, controlling how much time my loop is running right so if i run this one first time see pay attention first it's going to run it's going to run for m okay m then it's going to run similarly for a then it's going to run for y now i am it's on me like what i'm doing what i'm finally adding into my list i can maybe actually do something like this only let's say element so just the element is going to get added into my list okay and pay attention element 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 because this is running six times and i am saying hey don't add this character instead add another list okay that is what i am adding so that's the reason list comprehension is working like this so that's how nested thing overall works uh, let me just showcase this to you in one more example one more easy example so pay attention everyone so for let's say number in range 1 2 2 okay now what i have to add if i put just add number i will get just one right may let me make it three so one and two instead of this number what i am adding is pay attention instead of this number what i am adding is uh, let's say uh, so see this outer one is going to run two times now instead of this one i can add something entirely else to my string right to my list so what can this entirely as thing can be maybe it can be something like this num2 for num2 in okay range 10 and 12 so see this is going to give me a list like this 10 and 11 now this is going to get run two times because this outer thing is running two times and every time this is what is going to get added to my list okay so if i run this now 10 11 10 11 again this is how it's going to get added okay so again this is what this was the little bit tricky but you have to understand that this is what finally gets added into your uh, list so if i make it num then just one two if i make it something more of a list comprehension type then this thing if i just make it i would say constant then this constant is going to get added two times see constant constant okay so that is the overall understanding now here also what i could have done is i can just have done constant here but then it would not have been inside list so if i run this let me just show you this if i run this now this is not list comprehension syntax right so i am saying that hey just add constant how many times this is running and this is running like this okay 
So I hope this is clear everyone. If anyone has any doubt, let me know. Again, this is a little bit important topic which you can see at many places. So list combination is used at lots of places to define lists. So understanding is very crucial. Similar syntax will be followed for set and dictionary comprehension as well. Okay, so that is majorly all about list comprehension. A uh, small topic, but important topic. Uh, please make sure that you uh, work on that nested uh, wala thing because that is a little bit tricky sometimes. Okay, so cool then everyone. I hope the understanding about list comprehension is a lot clear. Please make sure that you practice on this a lot. I'm also going to attach an assignment here so that you can practice all the concept of list because that is where a lot of, I would say, questions going to come from, right? Because they are very analogous to the way we have arrays in C++ or Java. So any question in DSA or any other, I would say online assessment as well, which comes to you as array in C++ or Java, the same actually gets handled as list in Python. Okay, so please make sure that you revise all these classes very nicely because they are going to be a lot helpful to you. Okay, cool then. Uh, thanks a lot everyone. Let's meet in the next class. Thank you.